the way the image is formed here, you draw an array parallel to the principal axis, and this is reflected, seeming to come from the focus. You can draw another ray that goes to C, and that reflects on itself. So this is C. And that must reflect on itself. So you get two reflected rays. You can also take a ray that goes to the focus, but of course it will not get to the focus. And then it will reflect parallel to the principal axis. So all these reflected rays, this one, and this one, and this one, they are diverging. They're moving away from each other. But they all seem to come from one point here. This is the image. So this is A prime, B prime. Now, we're told that A prime, B prime is one third the size of the object. So I know that the magnification is one third. M is one over three. This means that minus Q over P is one third, which means that Q is minus P over three. Now, what's the meaning of this minus sign here? P is a positive number, so this means that Q is a negative number, which means what? Means that the image is virtual. Means that the image is virtual. Now, we're told that the distance between the object and the image is 40 centimeters. As you see, the distance between the object and the image taking both P and Q as positive now, then the distance is P plus Q. It's this distance plus that one. So if I treat P and Q as both positive quantities, just distances, then the sum is 40. So from here to here is 40. But I know that P is 3 times Q. It's minus 3Q, but the minus is only has to do with the fact that, that the image is virtual. But it means that the, the distance between the image, between the object and the mirror, see P is minus 3Q. This means that the distance between the object and the mirror is three times the distance between the mirror and the image. So the distance here is three times that. But the sum is 40. So I have P is three times Q. I'm taking the magnet the absolute value, so everything is positive. And I, ha I have P plus Q is 40. So clearly this means that Q is 10 and P is 30. 10 centimeters, 30 centimeters. So you see P is three times Q and they add up to 40. So this means that P is 30 centimeters. 
So the object is 30 centimeters away. The image is 10 centimeters away. I want the focal length. I have 1 over f is 1 over p plus 1 over q equals p, the object is real here, so p is 30, plus 1 over q. The image is virtual, so q is minus 10. As you see here, from here, q is minus p over 3, so it's minus 30 over 3. So q is minus 10, or q is 10, the distance is 10 centimeters, but since the image is virtual, I should take it as minus 10. So this is equal to 30. I get 1 minus 30 over 10 is 3, 1 minus 3. So that's minus 2 over 30. 2 over 30. This means that f is minus 15 centimeters. The fact that it's minus, of course, is what we expect. Because if I use a formula with all plus signs here, the, the sign convention is that if the mirror is a convex mirror, then f is negative. So when I solve for f, I must end up with a negative number because it's a convex mirror. In fact, if you end up with f positive, it means that something is wrong because f must be negative for a convex mirror. And indeed, the calculation indicates that.